when I come out to farms, I have to realize that dairy farming is also a business. Not only am I here to prevent and treat the, the sick animals, I'm also here to help the, the dairyman and his business so that they can continue to keep making milk. All right, now we're gonna go find the cows. Part of the process of making milk means that that cow has to have a calf. And so we would like to have a cow have a calf about every 13 months apart. Each cow has a orange little pedometer, we call that, a little bracelet on the feet. And every time they come into milk, they're recorded so we can tell how many pounds of milk that they have, how many steps the cow takes throughout the day, and that is recorded in the computer system. That's important for us um, because then we can tell uh, when that cow is ready to be bred. My technician finds the cows for me and then uh, tells me what we're checking her for. I'm feeling inside of her to see if she's pregnant. She's pregnant with one fetus and a good heartbeat. As I'm ultrasounding a cow, I'm looking in my binoculars. I'll see a little, little image of a, of a baby cow and I can actually see the heart fluttering in there. It's just, it's just so fascinating to see life at a young stage like that. We know scientifically now that there's very good data to prove that a, that a happy cow will make a lot of milk because they're more comfortable with their surroundings. In this particular farm, we use sand for bedding here. It's like going to a beach. It's all washed sand as we get from quarries locally here. And you can see this cow here is laying here as comfortable as can be, chewing her cud. She's happy. What these cows here are being fed is what's called a TMR, total mixed ration. We've got corn silage in here. We've got haylid. The goal of this mix is to ultimately make milk. So we want to balance this ration with enough energy and nutrients um, to make a high quality milk product. Given the climate here in Wisconsin, it's much better for them to be indoors, um, out of the elements, and as far as an animal welfare standpoint, it's perfectly fine. So how are things going here today at Rosie Lane? Uh, everything seems to be all right. Good. Cows have been averaging 98 to 100. 98 to 100 pounds of milk, wow. That's awesome. We've always tried to stay on, on the leading edge of, of technology and how we can help manage our cows in, in a more efficient and healthier manner for the cow. Each of the heifers here in this facility have a blue collar on. There's a battery in there that's operating it and then there's also a sensor that detects when the cow um, jumps up and down and moves a lot and we, we associate that with a cow that's coming into estrus or heat when she should be inseminated. The signal is actually transmitted wirelessly by Bluetooth um, from a receiver box here down to the, the main computer in the barn. I love the name of this sheet that helps us with those blue collars called the Moo Monitor, so it tells us when these animals are in heat. This top line is over the long haul. Each of these lines that are darker is when this animal was in heat, and this breaks it down by the day, and here was another activity that was high and that they actually inseminated that heifer on. An animal is an animal. They need to be appreciated, respected. You know, the healthier animals are, you're going to have high quality milk and a lot of milk. We ship uh, about 80,000 pounds of milk um, a day, which is just shy of, uh, it's about 9,000 9, gallons. Uh, we ship to Saputo Cheese Company. One of their famous brands of cheese is Frigo Cheese that you can find in your local Walmarts. They have a couple different brands. This is the business or the dairy farm, and they would never want to mishandle those, those animals because that's their living. They take pride in what they do. And I take pride as a veterinarian walking on farms and being able to, to help them monitor how they're handling the, their animals. All right, thanks, Rob. Yep, see ya.